I'm just trying to function. We're talking about relations and whether or not they're functions. <laughs> F is for friends that do stuff together. <laughs> Let's go. What? I have this collection of points. That's the relation. I want to whether or not, know whether or not that's going to function. If each first element corresponds to exactly one second element, then it is a function. So we should list the domain. Yeah, the domain is the set of all x's. All right. So it looks like one is an x, and nine is an x, and four is an x, and two is an x, and what's next? Eight is a next. No, eight is an x. So I want to go and I want to list the range. Looks like minus one is in there, and then nothing is in there, and then four is in there, and then two is in there, and then nine is in there. Yeah. And then I'm going to make a map. Looks like one goes to minus one, and nine goes to zero. OK. And then four goes to four. Sure. Two goes to two. Ooh. And then eight goes to nine. Fine. So is this a function? Yeah. This is a function because each first element corresponded to exactly one second element. F is for friends that do stuff together. Oh. But what about one that doesn't work out so well? Well, let's go on over here. All right, so now what? I still want to list the domain. So it looks like three is in there, and then three is in there, but that's a repeated element, so I don't repeat it. Yeah, uh, I shouldn't have gone over there. I should have stayed over here. All right, so then what? Zero is in there, and then nine is in there, and then nine is in there, but that's a repeated element, so I'm not going to repeat it. So now I'm up here. Now I'm looking for that range. The range is the set of all y values. Why? Because that's what it goes to. X's go to y. And I'm looking here that that's at 9. Fine. Then a minus 1. Fun. So none and 4. Sure. And a minus 3. T he. T he. And now I can make my map. What do I mean? The domain to the range. So the 3 goes to the 9. Fine. All right. Then the 3 goes to the 1. Oh no. What? That is not monogamous in its domain. That three goes to nine sometimes and one some other time. So this is not a function. No, that is not fun. Oh, boy. What's next? Ooh, what about this? Oh, yes. A lot of times they'll give it to you in a table. And you think that this is all fine and dandy. But then I'm over here and I'm looking like three goes to six and three goes to minus one and three goes to two. But then you're like, oh, no, you think it's a function. But that's a repeated element. And I don't repeat it. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of those. And then I'm going to make my map. My three went to that minus one and that minus two. So it looks like three gets around. And I found that this is no. A function. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. What's next? Ah yes. Sometimes they give it to you in these bubbles and they list the domain and the range. They did that part to you, for you. Yeah. So four goes to twenty-four, twenty goes to seven, and eleven goes to twenty-four. Oh no! 24 gets two domain elements, but does that make it a function? Yeah, it's still a function, because each first element corresponds to exactly one second element. The second elements can get as many first elements as they want. So yeah, this one is fun. Yeah. F is for friends that do stuff together. But what do they do? Do they go to graphs? Yeah. All right. So right here, um, I could look at these as points. Well, that's minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven. Uh-huh. And then down a deuce. Ooh. So I could see that as a collection of points and I can treat it like that as there. Or I can use that vertical line test. What am I talking about? I'm looking to see whether each first element corresponds to exactly one second element and it does indeed look like that but what should we get out of this um seven goes to minus two zero goes to two and what is that six goes to minus one but what that's just fun yeah